Hi everyone, this is our 10th lecture in unit 1. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one important theorem, Lagrange's theorem. So let us how the statement of Lagrange's theorem is. The order of a subgroup H of a finite group G divides the order of the group, main group G. So we need to prove order of H divides order of the group G. Since G is finite, since G is finite, so also H subgroup uh, H is also finite. Let N and M, let us consider N and M be the order of G and H respectively. That is order of G is equal to N and order of H is equal to M. So let us take the index of H is R, the index of which means uh, distinct right and left cosets of H is R. So this is the index symbol. So we are taking number of distinct left right cosets of H is R. So let us take the left cosets A1 H, A2 H etc. A R H be distinct left cosets of H in G. Take A one H is equal to E dot H. That is equal to H. We itself consider one left coset A one H is equal to H. H itself here left cosets that is the meaning of this particular statement so now consider all the left cosets of index r must be a1 h comma a2 h comma etc a or h so which is the partition of the main group g so we are going to climb in that the set of our left cosets of your subgroup partitions the entire group G. So, which means union of I varies from 1 to R, A, I, H is equal to G. Every element of your group is in exactly one left coset, hence, the union of left cosets form the group. So therefore, union of i varies from 1 to r, a i h is equal to r. So which means uh, any two left cosets does not containing any common element or uh, so both are equal. You may consider any two uh, left cosets, it must be equal or it, this, this uh, entirely distinct, this does not contain any common elements definitely. Since Union of i varies from 1 to r, a i h is equal to g. So, therefore, which implies g is equal to union of all the left cosets of h, a1 h union, a2 h union, etc., a or h. As uh, we already uh, taken a1 h is equal to h, so we are replacing that here. So, therefore, we will get g is equal to h union, a2 h union, etc., union a or h. Now we need to find the remaining left coset value and after that we are going to replace that values into this particular equation. So now to show that every left or right coset of H has the same order as H, we define a mapping between H and the left coset and prove that mapping to be a bijective. Which means that function is 1, 1 and on 2. So define a mapping between H and uh, left coset F. F is a mapping between H to A, I, H. Where I varies from 1 to R. Because R is the index of the left coset. Given F of H is equal to A, I, H. So, take natural map to show that the order of H and AH is equal. So, 
so first we are going to prove f is 1 1 so for uh, considering h1 comma h2 belongs to h first uh, we are taking f of h1 is equal to f of h2 so we are defining f of h is equal to a star h so therefore uh, ai h1 is equal to ai h2 we are taking f of h is equal to ai h no so by left cancellation law in group both sides we are cancelling ai we get h1 is equal to h2 so which implies finally h1 equal to h2 we proved we are taken f of h1 is equal to f of h2 we proved h1 is equal to h2 so therefore f is 1 1 So next we are going to prove f is on to. So for that, uh, we are taking a i h one element in uh, left coset. So there exists small h belongs to capital H such that f of h is equal to a i h. Previously we are taken that, showing that the set of range a i h is equal to the co-domain of f. So therefore, f is on to. So as we have proved, f is one one, and f is on to. From that, we can say f is bijective. So therefore, order of h is equal to order of a i h, which means both are equal, one to one correspondence between them. So, uh, perfect value of h is equal to perfect value of left coset for all i varies from one to or as order of h is equal to we are taken m and order of a one h is equal to order of a two h is equal to etc. Order of a or h because uh, order of h is equal to order of a i h no. So therefore, these are all equal. All a i h are equal as they are equal to h. So, which implies uh, the above equation all are equal to order of h. So, order of h is equal to m. So, the above equation equal to m. Since g is equal to uh, already uh, we are taken a uh, h union a to h union etc. A or h. So, order of g is equal to n. Here, order of h is m. Other values also m. Okay, other values also equivalent to m. So we are having here r times m. So therefore, since r is the index of h in G, so we are having m r times. So n is equal to r times of m. So therefore, r is equal to n by m. R is equal to n by m index, which implies. Uh, Order of uh, m divides n. That is, order of h divides order of g. Hence, the order of your subgroup h of your finite group g divides the order of the group g. So, 